Hey, Absolutely Gospel Music fans, we are here with Ernie Haas of Ernie Haas and Signature Sound. And Ernie, it's been a while since we've talked. Hey, Dia, it has been a while. Good to hear your voice. Yes, sir. Uh, other than a, a wave by, I think, at NQC or something. but <laughs> I know, I know. That's always a crazy time. It is. So, uh, well, we're here to talk about a brand new project that you have. So let's get a little bit into that. Um, okay. Tell me, tell me a little bit about the. It's keep it on, keep it on, right? Yeah, the, that's the actual song title, but the, the title of the album is a little, a little tricky. Just keep it on. Oh, okay. And so yeah, so that they, you, we couldn't put the whole song title on the on the CD cover. There's not enough space. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I was reading everything the about it. So. That's the message. That's good. Yeah. All righty. And I was looking. Uh, you've got 14 songs on there. That's that's. Pretty good, isn't it? That's a lot. Fifty minutes, almost an hour worth of music, and, and um, you know what? That's that's what the Lord gave us. That's what we felt like we were supposed to do, and uh, and those a lot of the songs of the fourteen. I would say nine of them are songs that I had a chance to help write. And you know, this past year taught us a lot of things and allowed us to go deeper with God. And um, and I wanted to express that light you know we can't we've had some dark days but this album you know it was born out of darkness but the songs aren't dark <laughs> the songs are the light that god put in our heart that's right you have a you have a lot of a lot of uh lighter music on it uh, uplifting you know not to... yes and uh, any anything different uh because i noticed that it's pretty you have a lot of variety in the in the uh 14 songs anything in particular that that brought you to having a lot of variety with it well that's kind of been a signature sound hallmark you know we you know we have our own style a signature sound i guess people would say but you know i the only thing that dictated it was with the lyric and the, and the music you know that it has its it needs its foundation it needs its bed to lay in so to speak and sure. each song was different and so uh, we, we wanted to make sure the musical bed fit the lyric and what we were trying to say. And then, in, in, and then you know, listening pleasure. I mean, I still listen to, to, to CDs and LPs, and, you know, I don't just cherry pick one song that I like, you know. So in my mind, I want to take everybody on a little musical journey and sure. help them have about 50 minutes of, of escaping the hard times of life and maybe sit down and be encouraged. Yeah, to this, to this experience, and I think you you put a little bit on there for everybody, so that's that's really uh, really key. Do you have a favorite song on there? I have a few that keep coming to my heart. You know, after spending so much time with it, you you would think you wouldn't listen to it. Typically, I don't, but I I, I love I know my Savior cares. Uh -huh. That that's just you know that is a personal song that I helped write. That that you know anybody in my life that knows me knows that, you know, if I care about you, you know, you're going to know about it. Yeah, I may not be able to fix things in your life, but, but you know, you have a friend and to me, Jesus, him coming and being coming one of us and coming down from heaven and walking with us, you know, the care of our savior. Uh, there's many reasons why I follow him, but the fact that he cared enough, to come and be one of us, I mean that's 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 reason enough right there. Yeah. So that's that song. I know my Savior cares. The title song, Keep It On. Um, and then there's one on there that uh, is very near and dear to me that I helped write called Not That Far Behind You. Yeah. And and so that's that is um, a very personal song. You know, I've had to say goodbye to so many people in my life, and uh, and that's one thing that I always say to them: You go rest. We're not that far behind you, and and honestly, as the song says, it's quoting the scripture: a, a, a day is as a thousand years to the Lord. So it feels like eternity to us now, but when we get there, you know, eternity begins. And yeah, that was one of my favorites too. I really, I really did like that one. That one talked Thank to, you. spoke to me. Yeah. So, um, and I noticed Devin wrote a song in there too, huh? Yeah, the last two records, the three records, Devin's always come to the table with some really good songs. And uh, 
still, you know, he wrote Walking Through Fire on the on the Clear Skies record, and then Jazzy Christmas record, he wrote Love You Remember, and then on this one, he came to the table with this song that just had a, what I call a Nolan's Cajun feel, and uh, it's called uh, What He Says to Do. Yeah. And, uh, and it's good to be reminded with that fun song that, yeah. hey. Yeah, it's a good upbeat, every- has a nice upbeat to it. Yeah, I, I really like that one, too. Yeah, I think it's a hit. And uh, the the ground is level. Is that did Mark Lowry's mother write that? She did, Beverly Lowry. Yeah, I, I really like what you did with it too. That's good. Thank you. She gave that song to me back in nineteen ninety nine. Oh wow! Uh, so she had just written, and we recorded in ninety five. We recorded "I Thirst" on a Cathedral record, and then so I was just getting ready to record a solo record. I said, "You got any other songs that you've written?" She goes, "Oh, honey, I got tons. Here's one I think you'll love." <laughs> And so I recorded that back in 99 and, and you know, just it had a great time singing it. And then when we were putting songs together for this Keep It On record, I told my producer and friend uh, Wayne Hahn, I said, you know, nobody else has done that song. Nobody's picked it up. And I just, as much as I love singing it, I think that would be a great song for Paul Harkey. And man, you know. Yeah. I like being right. <laughs> I don't like being wrong. And yeah. man, was I right. Paul just yeah. nailed that song. And speaking of, of Paul, didn't he do something on Terminal in the Sky? Yep. That's an old song. Uh, and and Paul took that. And, and, then we, and then we put a little... The song itself was only like a minute and 45 seconds long. So I, I told Wayne, I said, we need a 1940s Bing Crosby Holiday Inn kind of soundtrack to start that song <laughs> off with. And uh, so in concert, that's the song we do to open up our second half. And we play that song and that little overture. And, and then uh, Paul walks out and goes, oh, boy. <laughs> and then we come out doing, chuk, 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 you know, with our arms and have fun with it. So, yeah, Terminal and Scott, that's the one the kids are going to love, I promise. <laughs> yeah, it, it will. And uh, and I liked Wake Up, too. That was that had a really good uh, Thank message you. to it. Okay, let's shift gears just a little bit because you're you're doing some touring now, right? We are. We started uh, in March. I think we got three dates in the month of March and maybe four in April and maybe five in May. So, uh, you know, typically we would do anywhere from 10 to 15 dates a month. And so now we're about eight a month, eight or nine a month. So that's a good that's a good pace and uh we're happy things have opened up but but here's what i guess it's not breaking news but it's news within signature sound uh, all the guys have decided you know we 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 don't want to go back to doing i think we were doing 120 concerts a year pre-covid and so we just kind of all sit down and say you know god's provided we're you know it's good to be home which is one of the songs on the on the new record and uh you know you know, they just said, you know, don't worry about us because I was worried sick about them. And um, let's let's just decide <clears throat> that we're only going to do sixty five wow. or seventy or whatever whatever comes in. Uh-huh. But we're gonna we're just gonna do that, and then gives them a chance to be with their kids more and, and do the little league and do the soccer and the volleyball camps, and then it allows us to reboot the Friday night sing that we did last fall uh-huh. and we're going to do it again this fall, but well, we're going to rebrand it. In case people it. don't know about that, t- tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So when things shut down, we started a, a webisode, a TV show that we've aired on our YouTube channel on Facebook live called Friday night sing. Uh, the wake up song that you just referred to was the theme song. And then we ran for 16 weeks. We went started September 11th and went all the way to December 25th. Wow. And so after that was over with, I thought, well, that was fun. You know, a lot of that was a chance to stay in touch with people. And Dion, you know, you know, I'm a road warrior. I've been on the road a long time, 33 right. years. And, but, and you know, on any given weekend, you know, after one week of viewership, we were singing anywhere from to 40 to 50,000 people a week wow. on, our, on our show. And so this, this year, fast forward this year, um, we started getting some, you know, just people just saying we miss our Fridays, our Friday TV show. We miss you guys. We miss coming into our living room. We're never going to get to see you this year, you know, just all over the world. And so, and then we had a network down, uh, some guy that runs a network. His name's Greg West. He called me and said, man, we would like to broadcast, 
your show, but we, you know, our Friday slots not open. Would you be open into rebranding, renaming your show? And uh, and I had just written the song "Good to Be Home," and man, it, didn't, it just clicked. The light clicked over my head. I'm like, it's got the same amount of syllables. Friday night scene, <laughs> good to be home. And so we're not changing anything else. Just the title, and and, set, and six out. We'll still air it on Fridays. But mm-hmm. it gives a chance for other people to pick it up, and then it's a chance for us to to also say, "Hey, we're gonna make a clean break." Uh, it's not gonna be about COVID and lockdown and quarantine. This is about what I think was happening during the Friday night scenes. We were allowing people to change the culture of their home, and everybody screams about the culture of our of our country and the world too. Well, you know what? Love begins at home. Begins. Understanding, yeah. togetherness, forgiveness, compassion. Unity, all those things that we want in our culture, if that's not part of your culture, and if you're not able to say it's good to be home, well, let's start there. Yeah. And that's what we're, that's what we're, that's what we're going to talk about. And, and hopefully we add a little bit to, to the, 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 the rarefied air of the, I was going to say the American families, but the, the family at large, because we, our viewership's worldwide. So sure. we, hopefully we can do that. And you know, it's, uh... I remember I'm an old fella, <laughs> and and I and I've been in this you know like for 52 years, and sometimes change is hard, but sometimes it's inevitable, and and this may be the way that Southern Gospel is going to go, you know the where the uh, traveling every weekend and uh, filling up stadiums or arenas, uh, it may become a more personal thing where you're doing it at home. Well, the, the, what I felt like the Lord was saying to me. Um, because we did take a year off from touring. Actually, it was more than a year. It was a year and three months. And before I started the the friend that sang, I just was praying and just asking the Lord and asking a lot of questions and, and had some dark dark times in my mind, you know. So I'm not gonna lie and say that you know I'm always Mr. Oppert- uh, Opportunity. I say it. Um, sunshine and roses. I mean, yes. I mean, I'm. I, I'm, I'm always upbeat, I'm so so to speak, but I have my times, man. And I felt like the Lord just said to me, Dion, hey, methods and means change. My message never changes. Right. Just find another method and mean. And it was like the light clicked on. I'm like, okay. So I took my iPhone. I sat down in my chair in my living room, and I put it on a stand, and I went on Facebook Live, and I just said, how's everybody doing? Are you hanging in there? I'm praying for you. Let me read the scripture. Let me tell you a story. Let me sing you a song. And it blew up. And so, what? just, you know, that's what we do. We make, the music continues. The message continues. Uh, we get so caught up in methods and means. And, you know, I told Scott Fowler, we talk all the time. I said, Scott, nobody cares what kind of sound system we have. No. We care. We care. We care. Nobody cares what kind of engine that's in our bus, or even if we got a bus. Nobody cares, but we care. You know, so it's getting back, you know, just getting back to what matters most. It's the message. Right. Right. And the message of Southern Gospel music, the message is strong. You know. I'm pretty fond of it, brother. <laughs> I like all kinds of music. Don't get me wrong. And so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm, you know, poo-pooing other art forms. I'm no, not. No, I think all of them have their 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 place. Yeah, but I just love four-part harmony. I yes. love the harmony of Southern Gospel. I love our thing. Our thing. Now, does it mean it can't evolve? Does it mean it can't progress? It can't, does it mean that? It can't grow and, and reach beyond the sounds of the of the fifties and sixties, but it doesn't mean that we throw that away either. It means we just keep on keeping on, which is what I'm trying to do with my music. Yeah, uh, I want to shift gears just a little bit too, um, okay. uh, because you know this this whole year and a half or two years, whatever this pandemic has been really hard on everybody, but it seems that sometimes people think that you're a gospel singer and it's not the same for you. So I was just like for you to tell our, our viewers just a little bit of what it was like to go through this pandemic as, as a gospel singer. Well, number one, and, and I, I hope 
hope I say this. If I, if I say anything well, it's only because the Spirit uh, is allowing me to. Um, our identity, my identity, is so wrapped up in what we do. And I think everybody's that way. You know, my dad is a heating and air conditioning guy. And, you know, you're a media guy. Yeah. And, you know, so we wake up every morning thinking about what we do. And this last year, I had my identity striped, striped away from me, mm-hmm. just stripped completely. And I knew in my mind, Dion, that my identity is in Christ. <laughs> exactly. But this last year, it got shoved down about 40 different levels into the cellar of my heart and I knew that my identity is in Christ and not not what I do what I do is important, what I do I think is God given but he he is my identity and so that's a that's a really quick way of saying I went through some dark times because my identity was stripped away and, and in my mind, I had to be reminded, I'm crucified with Christ. No longer I live, but Christ who lives in me. And thankfully, he's given me back what I love to do and my vocation. He's allowed me to keep my voice and getting closer to 60, closer to 60 than I am 50. <laughs> and, and as a gospel tenor singer, you know, there's just a lot of a lot of mileage on my voice. And, you know, I worry about that, but... That, that's that's what people need to know is that, yeah, we, we are messengers of hope and joy, and we will always present the gospel that way. We will never walk on a stage and try to bring you down with with our darkness. What we do do is share the light that was given to us in our darkness, and that's why you'll find that most all those songs, of those 14 songs on our record, I had a chance to help write. I've never done that before. It's a, as a matter of fact, I have a self-imposed limit. I usually never do more than two or three. Um, but this, these were the songs that, that felt like the God wanted me to share with his people. And uh, to feed, as the Bible says, feed my sheep. So right. that's what I'm trying to do with these songs. And we always have to be open to any little changes God might make, you know. So. Yes. So if he only gave you two or three before and he gave you nine this time, it's just a change he did. Absolutely. Yeah. So, listen, if somebody wanted to book Signature Sound, I, I know you're still taking some dates, so if somebody wanted to book you, how would they do that? The best thing is to go to our website. It's just ErnieHaas.com, and there you will see, the, one of the first things you'll see is, do you want to schedule us for an event? And uh, so just click that thing, that little button there, and, and it only takes about two minutes to fill out, and then um, that way we can reach back out to you and say, Hey, what do you got in mind? What do you want to do? So we're, we're booking 2022 right now. We actually just booked three dates this week for 2023. So wow. with the limited amount of schedule that we're doing, um, now's a good time to go ahead and click that button and go to erniehaas.com. And then there you'll also find our tour dates. You'll find our music. You'll find uh, all the social media platforms and, and however you want to stream our music or buy our music or however you want to support us. And then you can also go up at the top. It says Friday Night Sing. You can go up there and you can binge watch all 16 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> there's over there's over nine hours of uh, music and conversations that I think will be an encouragement to to the body of Christ. Get your and whole me, box of microwave last... popcorn, huh? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And let me spell my last name because it is a it's a weird name. Sure, it's an old Dutch name. Haas is H A A two A's. S is in Sam. E is in Edward. ErnieHaas.com. And then I also want to say there you can also find the the biography links for all the guys. I, you know, just God has blessed me with some wonderful brothers that are talented and love God and very committed to the cause and that those guys are Devin McLamory, Dustin Doyle, Paul Harkey, and Tyler Vestal. So get to know them and follow them too. Okay. And I, I am assuming that uh, on your website, they can find all your music as, as well as the new one. Absolutely. When you log on to earninghouse.com, that's the first thing you're going to see is uh, our smiling faces on the keeping on record. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and w- well, one last question here. If they d- 
didn't get to your website to find it, if, can they go to a bookstore or, or anything like that and pick your album up? Yeah, we are still in the, you know, the mom and pop stores that sell Christian music, and I think Target and Barnes and Nobles. I think there's a few uh, those kind of places that are carrying it. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can find it on Amazon, and uh, we're actually going to be offering. I mean, and it's on our website too, and then it's on if you stream music. Uh, like on YouTube and Pandora and Spotify, uh, you can definitely listen to it that way. And then, and then the neat thing we, we we've done this on our last two projects. I'm actually going to release it on vinyl. Uh, oh, so wow. we got so we got that coming out in a couple of weeks. So I yeah. still have that old record player. So that's <laughs> so that's good. Me too. I never stopped listening. I I I love sitting in my chair at the end of a work day and putting on a, a Statesman or a Cathedral record and just enjoying. A little partial to the cathedrals, are you? I am. You know what? That's the thing that I got the chance to do this past year. <clears throat> you would think I would probably, you know, have been binged, listened to a lot of cathedral stuff. I always, I never stopped listening to cathedrals, but I never listened to the years that I were, I was there. And so this past year, I'm like, you know what? Let me go back and listen to some of that stuff we did. Oh, yeah. And we were pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You were a lot younger, I know that. So, yeah, I was like, I told Lisa, I'm like, I'm not hitting those notes back then. And then, I'm, then she's laughing at me because I'm going in the bathroom, trying to hit the notes and saying, "Yeah, I think I still could do that." So. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, listen, Ernie, this has been a, it's been enjoyable uh, talking with you, and uh, you know, we still get over a million hits a month, so a lot of people are going to see it. Wow. And uh, that's awesome. Yeah, God still blessed us. That's good. Absolutely. Well, thank you for giving me a, a platform to, to say these things. And, and like I said, if if it's been helpful to keep people keeping on in their faith, then, then great. If not, you know, just just know I'm not I'm not uh, I'm just as uh, I'm not infallible. So, <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully we said something of eternal value here today. Well, we got 22 minutes here. I'm sure you said something good. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, thank you a lot. And uh, to all of you absolutely gospel music listeners and watchers, uh, come on back because you're going to hear Ernie doing some good stuff. Thank you. God all bless right. you, Dion. Tell uh, the family I said hi. I sure will. Thank you. Okay, buddy. Mm, bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>